Alright guys, welcome to Langreaser SEA, where the challenge never ends. Also, I think, well, well, literally it will end if, you know, if Zilong shut down the server, well. Okay, well, um, this will be the first time I'll be trying to do um, English um, walkthrough of the Timeless Trial SS5. And, well, in the future, if... Given the time, I will try to make both um, English and Chinese base of the Timeless Trial. And as everyone knows, actually, Timeless Trial SS5 is quite important because it gave you accessories. And accessories are not easy to come by. And I'm going to show everyone a um, cheaper way of doing SS Trial without using the SSR characters that you have to pay or draw but well we will literally be using characters that are free from the game or given from the game so yep i'll be using bozo six star bozo six star almeida or uh, imelda six star vargas six star no five star terrys and a six star sherry okay so without further ado i'm going to show you how we are going to clear ss5 all right so um for this challenge, as long as you do not walk into the danger zone of the enemy, um, they will not take any actions. So for the first round, um, it's important for us to have a good um, laid out or a good walk through of the squares and space in the stage um, to make a very good formations for our turn two because we will be challenging enemy on turn two. And yeah, so the enemy we are facing will be the glory all like enemy and wow, 3C skills are not out yet and wow, Sherry's are having 3 sets of 2C skills. That is so cheating man. But no, no worries. So okay. <coughs> so first then uh, we will move Vargas to this space or square. And one short mistake I did is to activate his um, guardian or his protecting skills, but no worries. Then we'll have Bowser <coughs> move to this square and cast his faction buff. And Sherry will be coming here and little Aries will be moving two space downs to avoid danger zone. Okay, then our queen, Imelda, sexy queen, will be casting the buff to everyone. And including her talents buff. Yes, they both mix. Okay, next we will... Second turn, yep. We will have Bagus move to this space. And we will have Bozo casting his Earthquake AoE. Okay, one thing to note that is... Um, we do not want to silent Ladin nor Chris. So that they won't um, deal high damage to um, Vargas or... Bozo and killing them through the process. Alright, so um, Iris will do her um, Iris Explosion, the skill that will reduce damage and increase damage. Yes, it do not stack with the Queen's um, damage buff, but I think it will still um, allow her to reduce damage input from enemies. So, yep. Mm, it's important we will need to kill off or we will need to defeat um, Hein and Nam so that um, if they are not being silent they won't be casting any possible AoE damage to the team. So yep, as you can see um, <coughs> because of this um, Chris will be casting AoE to our heroes and instead you can see the whole team managed to survive. Yep. Pardon me if my English is not very good. Well, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Alright, so um, this turn, uh, we'll move Vargas. So as long as you follow the way my characters walk, um, you should be able to survive. And yep. So I'm um, trying my best to heal uh, Sherry as much as possible. On the fact that um, because the angels will be most useful when 
the HP is above 50%. Uh, apparently in my case here, nope, I can't manage to do that. So, yep, Sherry have to move below Vargas, so Vargas will be able to protect Sherry. And, yep, Vargas managed to survive. And, wow, well, apparently um, Chris is not hitting my sherry so well I managed to survive and towards the end of the video um, I'll be going through on the equipment and the bond that I have did for certain characters and yup um, for sherry and bozo I had a very high bond whereas for the rest of the character you do not need 